Many who travel south to escape New England's winter also come to Fort Myers hoping to meet their favorite Sox stars and get their autographs. The players are relaxed and they have a little more free time, so it's often easier to get an autograph here. You guys need to go home and work on like your hat tosses. And the best place to be is along the third baseline. I got to see the guys that I look up to, and that's pretty amazing. Like, all those people back home just want autographs, and I get them. Who'd like to see a trot? I like seeing them play and seeing how good they are, but I also like getting to get their autographs. This is a little bit, uh, a little bit easier. Um, because we have more time, free time during spring training than we may have during the season. You know, I have the time to do it here a little bit more because most of the time after batting practice I go right in and, and uh, get prepared for the game. But down here I get a chance to, to hang out uh, right before lunch and then come back out for the ball game. Because it's not as intense, you know. It's just, like right now I don't have anything to do. So, you know, I'll come back and get back to the fans a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's really neat, I think. You know, it's... It wasn't that long ago when I was doing the same thing, so. Oh, well, you know, it's good to get out in spring training. It's a little closer and you got more time. More relaxed here. I got here half an hour before the gates opened so that we could be right in front of the line and get right here at this spot. It's probably the best shot at getting autographs. It's just so easy to get autographs here. you got to come with a lot of stuff. Most of them are just excited to be down here and uh, get a chance to get close to the players. I'm going to try to get Coco, Lowell, uh, all the new guys. I'm David Ortiz and Coco Crisp. Those are my two. I don't know if I'll get it, but I'll try. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm going to try and get a few more autographs. I got Manny and Coco Chris. Coco, Mike Lowell, Alex Gonzalez. Mr. Gonzalez, do you like the nickname of Gonzi? Uh, Want me to hand this up? You do? Uh, okay, can I call you Gonzi? We have two balls here, so my husband and I can both get autographs, which he thinks we're going to give to our sons when we get home. But if Jason Veritek signs this ball, it's mine for keeps. <laughs> well, this year, Coco's been outstanding. I've gotten Coco Chris. Coco Chris. Coco Chris. I've gotten Coco. Believe it. Believe it. Coco. 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 I have nothing else to do. Green shirt. That'd probably be the best thing to do is call out the color of the shirt. No, that no, that won't work. Heads up. Kevin Euclid has been out a lot, signing, doing a lot of signing. Trying to get as many as possible. Okay. I gotta work on my hostile boat. Seeing a guy that you can watch on TV and play ball and uh, maybe a role model or something like that, that's why I used to collect them when I was a kid. I've got guys like Sandy Koufax and, and Ted Williams when I, when I grew up. I have Bo Jackson, uh, Ricky Henderson. I have a lot of guys that play baseball, too. I don't really have a collection. My dad does, though. He's got everyone from Big Red Machine, the Cincinnati Reds, to you know, all the guys on our team now. I like to go, you know, and sign probably like 10 minutes every game. See, we crossed it off so the name is spelled correctly. And he, he laughed. He thought it was cute. Yeah, one thing the uh, the players like to hear from the fans is a lot uh, please and thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. The tough part is leaving. <laughs> because no matter how many you sign, there's always going to be somebody disappointed. <laughs> You know, well, this is just giving back. You know, when I was young, I didn't get this opportunity to to uh, rope elbows with uh, ball players, managers, or coaches, or whatever. So, uh, right now, this is special for these kids, and hoping uh, one day uh, some of these guys, these kids, that get an autograph will be in the big leagues and take my place.